getting the semis all lined up and ready to go. 30 laps set to be the distance. Also want to say a very happy anniversary to Terry and Daniel Sears. We happy, wish you a happy birthday. Or excuse me, happy anniversary. So we appreciate you guys for being here on your anniversary. So we'll get the trucks in order. All right, race fans, we're going to do some quick driver introductions. Starting 13th, the Carolina Cat D.H. Griffin from Clyde, North Carolina, the number 46 of Nicholas Black. Rolling off 12th in the route pass welding, D.H. Griffin, number 21 from Arden, North Carolina, Nick Black. Rolling off 11th. The Tanner Anderson, Mike Turbo Thompson Cat, number nine of John Cantrall. Starting 10th, the Don Davis, Tanner Anderson, Mike Turbo, Thompson Cash, the number 41 of Marshall Davis. Rolling off ninth, the first choice well service Appalachian well drilling from North Carolina, Mr. Jamison Gibson in the number 20. Rolling off eighth, the Mitchell Motorcycle Transport, MTSER, excuse me, MTS, MTSR Diesel, Dr. Diesel Repair, Big Rig Chrome Shop, from Wappen, Wisconsin, Bob, the Iceman Mitchell. Rolling off seventh, the VTI Specialized Leobug Photography. From Quakertown, Pennsylvania, it's Chris Kikohan. Rolling off sixth, the Carolina Cat D.H. Griffin from Clyde, North Carolina. It is the 46 of Nicholas Black. Rolling off fifth. The Dr. Diesel Repair, Mitchell Motorcycle Transport, MTSR. From Wisconsin, it is Austin, Dr. Diesel Hoppy. Rolling off fourth, it is the James and Joey Suttles Turbo Thompson Cat, number three of Allen Bowles. Now your top three. The NMF Turbo Logistics from Marshall, in North Carolina, it is Scott Lightning Treadway. And now your top two. Rolling off second, outside front row. It is the VTI Specialized Leobug Photography. He is the hometown favorite. From Bird's Eye, Indiana, the Bird's Eye Bullet, Brian Bear. And now your pole sitter. The Steve Nash Trucking, Hell Ben Express. Winrock Truck Parts from War Trace, Tennessee, driving Mac Vader. He is Mike Morgan. And race fans, let's give all 13 starters a big round of applause here in the semis on the high banks at Salem Speedway. Drivers now getting strapped in, ready to go as they get ready for 30 laps around the 33 degree banking. Over half mile Salem Speedway. This track opened in 1947 and still going strong here today. The last time these trucks were here was 2021. And the soon to be birthday boy, another year older, this Monday, Brian Bear picked up the win. Can he go back to back here in the semis on the high banks? There's a lot of people that think so. Or will Mike Morgan and the 88, the War Trace Tennessee driver, have something to say about that? Looking on back, a lot of guys can win this one. Some new, some veterans. Wisconsin, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and North Carolina set to represent here in the semi on the high bank challenge.
And the call is to roll off the trucks this time as a couple of them had radio issues. They got those fixed. That was a little bit of the delay here. So the TLG truck now pulls off. Uh, behind him, the Eddie Gilstrap Motors Ford Pace truck. So beautiful, beautiful sight here, as you see right there, the TLG Peterbilt of Louisville. Truck, beautiful piece, heads down the back straight away. So 30 circuits around Salem Speedway and the heavy machines that have ever took to the track. These things have raced all over. Quarter mile tracks, up to half mile tracks, to mile dirt tracks, they've done it all. So there you see the beautiful TLG honking at you gray fans out here tonight. Beautiful, beautiful sight. And we'll let you fans know when the wave lap will come. As soon as this race hit the calendar, everyone was excited. So we're going to let the TLG truck get off the racing surface. Get the heavy equipment off there that's not racing in this one. These guys are pumped up. I've talked to them all week long. They're like kids on Christmas. So race fans, next time by, these drivers are told this is the wave lap. This is going to be fun. I want you guys to stand up, show these guys that you want them here, show them that you appreciate them, because this is awesome to see the semis on the high banks back here in 2023. Race fans, here they are, 13 of the best semis in the country of racing semis. Now wish these drivers Godspeed for the next 30 laps in the TLG Peterbilt of Louisville, Kentucky and a Ford dealer semis on the high banks.
One to go at the line, race fans. This is what you have been waiting for. We have finally made it to the TLG of Louisville, the Peterbilt. Semis on the high banks. Two by two, they enter turns number two. Down the back straight away. It'll be Mike Morgan and the bird's eye bullet, Brian Bear. 30 laps, full speed ahead. It is now time for the green flag. Race fans, it is time to go green. Down the front straightaway, entering turns number one and two. 30 laps, you're gonna have to save tires here. Outside turn number two, down the back straightaway, it's Mike Morgan in that second spot. Brian Bear in the lead. He is on point right now. What a birthday present this would be. Comes outside turn number four, down the front straightaway as they zoom past. So Brian Bear, Mike Morgan. The first lap belongs to Brian Bear. They head on down the back straightaway. Entering turns number three and four once more. Up against the wall, Brian Bear. He likes that high side no matter what vehicles he's in here at Salem Speedway. Lap number two, still Brian Bear. Everyone else towards the back trying to save those tires. We saw the number 66 a little bit earlier on today, Austin Hoppy. And the 66 lost a tire during the heat race. So now these semis split into two groups. The top six and the back seven. So outside turn number four, it's still Brian Bear leading the way. Mike Morgan in that number two spot. Mike Morgan trying to switch to the inside. Everyone else kind of behind him. Three-car battle there as they head now down the back straightaway. What a move. Here he comes, the number 46 now, making a move right now. And that is Nicholas Black. So the Ohio, or excuse me, North Carolina driver trying to make some work here. But Mike Morgan, he's kind of slowed down a little bit and going to allow now the number four of Scott Lightning Treadway on the high side. He's going to try to battle for the number two spot. So the preferred groove, even in a semi, as you can see, the number four pulls away just a little bit, but now buck drafting going on. As the number 46 of Nicholas Black gives a little bit of shove to the second place car. Oh, gets a little bit sideways outside turn four. Here we go, we're shuffling. So now everyone enters turns one and two. Still, Brian Bear out front, five laps up on the board. 25 laps remain here tonight. Now, everyone's starting to catch up to the lead pack. As Brian Bear still on the high side, he comes out of turn number four. Second place battle, Mike Morgan still has it. The number four machine of Scott Lightning Treadway battling right there with your second place car, Mike Morgan. Once again, drag race down the back straightaway, coming to seven laps up on the board. Battle for now the number one spot. Brian Bear on the high side, Mike Morgan on the low side. Mike Morgan tries to pull ahead. Still Brian Bear at the line. Everyone else getting all split up. See the Wisconsin driver there in that five spot. And there you go, you see a little bumping to the number 88 of Mike Morgan. That 46, he is using that front bumper. Nicholas Black, the Clyde, North Carolina driver. So here comes the Wisconsin driver. Good battle for the number two spot now. Steal Scott Lightning up on top. As they head on down the front straightaway once more. Here comes Mike Morgan in Mac Vader trying to use the inside line. Drag race once again, but there you see again, we'll talk about it all night long, the high side here at Salem Speedway. So everyone else gathering it back up, entering turns three and four. All full steam ahead, Brian Bear still out front. A lot of these drivers being very conservative right now. A long way to go. You're gonna see the aggression pick up here later in the going. But Brian Bear has led all 10 laps so far. 
So Brian Bear, Mike Morgan, and the four of Scott Treadway, your top three trucks. 20 laps to go. You see the black smoke billowing from these machines around the over half mile here at Salem Speedway. Now we're going to get our first glimpse at a little bit of slower traffic as the number three truck of Alan Bowles kind of is in the grass. He'll go to the inside. So the leaders are going to take him up on the high side. He'll go a lap down on the speedway. So down the back straight away they go, coming to 12 laps upon the board. So Brian Bear all out front. This is kind of the repeat of what we saw in 2021. The same two drivers battling it out for the number one spot. Everyone trying to go. Now another car goes, or excuse me, another truck goes a lap down. I believe that is the number 21 of the Arden North Carolina driver, Nick Black. So now here we go. Now you see the number 46 machine of Nicholas Black get into the play a little bit. Starting to pick up the aggression now. Black's going to go to the number two spot. He ain't done yet. He's going to try to get Brian Bear's number Double zero. As he heads to the inside, here comes that 46 of Nicholas Black. He's going to drag race down to the stripe. Still Brian Bear at the line. Next time by halfway, 15 laps going to go up on the board. What a battle here. Drag race as they go down the back straightaway. Nicholas Black on the inside. Bird's eye bullet, Brian Bear on the high side as the inner turns three and four. Here they come outside turn number four. And at the line, it's going to be Brian Bear still. Nicholas Black in the 46 gets a little bit loose as the inner turns one and two again. You can see very well the aggression picking up with that number 46 truck. As now side by side, Brian Bear drifts up the track just a little bit. Again, coming outside turn four, still going to be Brian Bear at the line. Beating and banging side by side. And there you go, 46 really picking up the speed now. As the 46 of Nicholas Black pushes up the track just a little bit. And now what are you going to do? There's slower traffic in front of you. So you're going to have to be very careful here. And the 46 gets together. He's going to slide up the truck. He hits the wall. Steel green. How about that? That could have been a lot worse. And oh boy, the aggression. We're over the halfway point. It's getting intense, race fans. Brian Bear now pulls a little bit of gap between him and first, second place, Nicholas Black. Oh, my. Mike Morgan and Nicholas Black came together entering turn one. How about Nicholas Black holding that truck together? But now you have to worry about the tire issue. How are the tires on the number 46 machine? Brian Bear still out front. Next time by, going to be 10 more circuits left to battle it out here at Salem Speedway. Here comes the 46. He is not done yet. The 46 of Nicholas Black on the inside of the bird's eye bullet. Brian Bear side by side and returns four. Still going to be Brian Bear at the line. More slower traffic in front of your leaders. Down the back straight away they go. Oh boy. The battle is heating up. Down into turns number three and four. Here we go. Brian Bear still leads this one less than 10 laps to go. The Clyde North Carolina driver trying to check down the Bird's Eye Indiana native. Right behind him, you have the number four of Scott Lightning Treadway and yellow flag out on the speedway. 
I believe the call is fluid on the track is what they are saying. And that is the word from race control. A little bit of fluid on the speedway. Less than 10 laps to go, and you're going to restack them. That's going to be fun. But how about race fans Nicholas Black? How about holding on to that truck right there, going into turns number one, gets into it with Mike Morgan, and I know that was impressive. Not only gets turned right into the wall on the front stretch, but he then goes up into the outside retaining wall and then gathers it back up, still battling for the number one spot. Pretty impressive. Race fans, what do you think so far of the semis on the high banks? Now I have another question. Who thinks we should have them back in 2024? Think that's a majority. I like it. Well, there you go. And now you can see on pit road, I know Dirt 2 Media's got their camera on it, the number 20 machine of Jameson Gibson overheating smoke billing out of the hood of that number 20 truck. A tough break for the North Carolina native. As, as we talked about a little bit earlier, these trucks have a water-cooled brake system. So what happens when the brakes get hot, the water will actually splash from a button inside the cab on those brakes. A pretty cool system there for these semis here in racing action. So what they're going to do now is keep these semis low to the apron, out of the fluid around Salem Speedway, as you see our Impact Safety Team, sponsored by Safety Clean. Let's give our safety team one more round of applause. I always like to give kudos to our track team and our safety team and everybody. And something, race fans, I always do every race. It's very near to my heart. I didn't do it tonight. My wife and I just li started living together after five years of her being active duty military. Race fans, let's thank the military. Let's give them a round of applause because that is near and dear to my heart. You'll hear me say it all the time. And I uh, want to thank our active duty military. It's very near and dear to all of our hearts because without them, we would not be here tonight enjoying some semis on the high banks. So the semis all getting set to go, lined up. Now, I will say, race fans, it did not take long for me to be back in the doghouse once we started living together again. So I'm already grounded. So it didn't take that long, but uh, I made it through a couple weeks. But we want to thank everybody at home watching around the country on Dirt 2 Media. You're getting a great view of the safety team. And you can see it right there on the TV at home watching how steep the banks are here at Salem Speedway. If you've never been here, it's pretty incredible. Only one more track in the nation has steeper banks. That is Winchester Speedway. Winchester, of course, has the record for the highest steep banked. I believe 37 degrees is what Winchester Speedway holds. So pretty cool there, of course. Want to keep all short tracks going in the country because without short tracks, none of the upper tracks could be here and drivers so it all starts at the bottom level at short track racing so all right we got time to catch our breath we got less than 10 laps to go how many people think the bird's eye bullet brian bear can pick up his second semi race win now on the flip side the aggressor, I call him, because that's what you got to do. How about that 46, the driving technique of that man, Nicholas Black? How about the Clyde, North Carolina driver in the 46? He is going to be tough on this restart. Scott Lightning back there in the number four. Also, you have the Tennessee driver who finished second in 2021, Mac Vader. And that is Mike Morgan. Also back there, Austin Hoppy, Dr. Diesel in the number 66, all the way from Wisconsin, the cheese state, in the fifth spot right now. You can see right there on the camera, driver of the number 20 machine, Jamison Gibson. He can hear you, race fans. Let's give Jamison Gibson a round of applause on pit road. There he is waving at you guys. Tough break, but he is happy. He can put on a show for you guys. And good to see the number 20 driver.
there. As you can see on TV, you can't see it here in the stands, but uh, the camera up close of the tires on these things right now, that's pretty wicked. And uh, he's definitely went through it there on that machine. So catching our breath just a little bit. Waiting on the word from race control. Safety team checking out the speedway over in turns number four now. Then we'll get ready for the restart. So once again, finishing up the track prep. Pretty cool to see these drivers. They're going to trick the bottom of the speedway once more. And very, in, in course, very important to check the oil out here with these big machines. We don't want nobody to get injured and whatnot. So I have seen these things flip over walls and go upside down at different tracks throughout the country. So I uh, want to keep these drivers safe and uh, definitely some oil on the track. We want to make sure we get all of that cleaned up. Getting the word one to go at the line this time by before we set them loose again for the final less than 10 laps of this event. So all right, gathering it back up, we get ready. So two by two down the back straightaway. Brian Bear and Nicholas Black gonna lead us to the green flag off turn number four, race fans, here we go. And we are back underway. This is going to be the test here. We're going to see how it happens. Brian Bear, Nicholas Black, the battle for the number two spot. Here comes Mac Vader. Mike Morgan's number 88. He'll use the high side. He has the preferred groove here as they enter turns number three. Four truck battle as they come out of turn number four. Oh, boy. Here comes Mac Vader, the mean machine from Tennessee. Oh, Nicholas Black, Mike Vader, they bump. They are the same two trucks that had the issue a little bit ago. Don't know if the 46 of Nicholas Black's going to appreciate it too much. Three truck battle for the number one spot. Brian Bear on the high side, almost three wide. They are flying down the front straight away, entering turns number one and two once more. Eight laps to go. So can Brian Bear stay out front? He is doing the best that he can possible right now. Mike Morgan on the inside, trying to make it work. Three truck battle down the back straightaway. Brian Bear, here comes Mike Vader, Mike Morgan, the Tennessee driver to the inside. 
Brian Bear goes up the track just a little bit. As they come outside, turn number four. Going to be six laps to go this time by. And, oh, big battle here between the number two and three truck. Nicholas Black on the high side. Br Mike Morgan on the inside. Battle down the back straightaway. Those two have history a little bit earlier in this race event. But this is going to allow Brian Bear to pull away. Now Mike Morgan takes the number two spot. As they head off down into turns one and two. The battle. Here comes Nicholas Black as he takes over the number two spot. Brian Bear. How about it? Can he do it? Slower traffic up ahead right now. The battle for the number two spot. Watch those two drivers get entangled outside turn number four. They get loose. They touch. Back into number two, Nicholas Black, the 46 machine, takes over the number two spot yet again down the back straightaway. Coming to three more times around. Next time by, here comes Nicholas Black. He goes up the track side by side. Here they go. He is pushing all he can right now. Outside turn number four, still Brian Bear at the line. Brian Bear at the line right now. Battle for the number one spot. Lower traffic on the inside. Coming to two laps to go this time by. So there you go. Brian Bear goes high. This is going to be a battle for the number one spot here shortly. Two laps to go this next time by as they head off down to turns number one. So is for the number one spot. Down the back straight away they go. Now here's the battle right now as Nicholas Black goes to the inside. As they have it right now, two by two, they go to turns number three and four. Outside turn four, oh boy, white flag out one more time around. Oh my, one more time around. Those drivers entering turns one and two. Now Nicholas Black comes to the inside. He's gonna try and pull him down the back straightaway. Oh boy, it's coming down to the final lap here. They enter turns three and four. Brian Bear on the high side, he gets loose. Nicholas Black coming. Here they come to the stripe. Brian Bear parks it in victory lane. How about it, race fans? Brian Bear. And there's Mike Morgan, hits the wall, blows the front tire out. And how about that ending? I don't even know. Mike Morgan gave it all he has. Nicholas Black tried all he can, but it was the bird's eye bullet getting an early birthday present here at Salem Speedway. of the trucks get by here. What a performance. What a race. Race fans, what did you think of that race here tonight? We'll let these drivers unbuckle. I know they are wore out. And then we'll get a word with our drivers here. Oh, boy.
And how about that, race fans? We can't thank you enough for being here tonight. The TLG Peterbilt of Louisville did not disappoint. Kentucky Anna Ford dealers presenting this great show here tonight for the semi on the high bank challenge. I'm sure I'll lose my voice in the morning, but that's all right. This was worth it here tonight. As we await these drivers to unbuckle, a little bit of patience. I know they have to be wore out. 30 laps around Salem Speedway. Race fans, there he is, the bird's eye bullet, Brian Bear. We'll let Brian get a congratulations, then we'll get him up here that way we don't lose him uh, for the reception here. We'll let him get the congratulations from everybody well-deserved for Brian Bear, and I know he is wore out. His way over here right now. Thank the world of Brian. And Brian, what a birthday present, man. Monday's your birthday, man. Congratulations. Man, I know you're wore out, but man, what a performance. You. Test. Everything. Check one. Oh, wait a minute. Brian, I'm going to stop right here. I'm not moving. Check one. Check two. We're going to do our best. Brian, we'll make it quick. Probably the quickest interview ever. Man, describe that race, buddy. I'll tell you what.